So you're here to find out about watermarks and how to create them. We'll have a tutorial all set up for you and we're gonna talk about it next. All right, welcome back. My name is Brian and I'm with Three Princess Productions. If you're new to our channel, make sure you click that subscribe button right over here. Also, don't forget to click that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. On this channel, we like to open toys on Tuesday, but today, the family's on a vacation. So I have a video right here to help you increase your subscriber count by adding a watermark right here. So without further ado, let's jump right into the computer and I'll teach you how to build that watermark. First, what you wanna do is go to your YouTube Creator Studio, go down to Channel, and then go to Branding. As you can see here, it says branding watermark. This is where you can add a watermark. So we have to create this watermark first before we can go ahead and add it in. So how do we do that? I like to use the site Canva when I'm creating my watermark. So first, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to the browser and type in canva.com. All right, so once you're here, you can create a free account. Once you get that free account created, then what you want to do is you want to come over here to use custom dimensions. And when you do that, this little area pops up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to 400 by 400. We're going to hit design. And that brings up a blank square. First thing you want to do is click background. You can pick any default color that you want, or you can use a black, through white scale. Let's go ahead and click on document colors. When you do that, um, I like this button. I want this button to be red, bright red. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it over here and you can get different shades of red as you can see. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get it the reddest I can possible. So that will pop off the, pop off the screen. Go ahead and click the plus and now you got that color pale right up here. And as you can tell, your background here has turned completely red. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to text and I'm gonna add a headline and you can just click and hold, drop it in, type in some of your text. So I'm gonna type, I'm gonna do this all in caps, subscribe. And from here what you can do is you can, what I would recommend is make it the whole width of this button. And you see this pink line here in the middle? That, uh, that line tells you when you're completely centered. So if you double click on this, then what you can do is you can come up here, you can change it to whatever font you like, or if you do a paid version, you can use your branded font if you wanna do that. I like this font called Roberto, or Roboto. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. And then you can choose the size you want. So as you can see, if you get too big, it becomes two lines, so we're gonna pick something a little bit smaller, and we're gonna scale down until we can get to the size we like. You can also click up here and type in a size, and it'll let you resize to that. I'm gonna go ahead and bold this. I really want it to pop off the page. I'm gonna add another one down a little bit further. And this one I'm gonna say now. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna expand it out so it's the full width. So I get my pinkish line, there it is. Uh, go ahead and double click again, and uh, you can do a different font this time, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the same font for this one, there we go. Bold this one as well. And then uh, I'm gonna do a little bigger one for this. And as you can see, it kind of dropped it down. So what I'm gonna do is click off, and then you can click on it and drag it up. You wanna keep it in that, that line. So now, see I get this cross, that means that it's completely proportional with the subscribe. So now, I pretty much have the button the exact way that I want it. So when I come up here, if I click on this, I can change the name of it, and I'm gonna call this the subscribe button. I'm gonna hit done. And now what, all I have to do is click download. Um, gives you a couple different options. You go JPEG, PNG, PDF. Uh, I like to keep it just as PNG. So let's go ahead and download that. As you can see, it's right down here, but I'm gonna go ahead, seeing how I like using Chrome, I'm gonna go ahead and open up show one folder. I wanna save this somewhere. Open another folder. As you can see, I already have another folder here of other watermarks. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna click and drag it 
go into that folder and then put it in there go ahead and drop it and I'm gonna go ahead and replace it because I already had that title in there I uh, really like this one so what I'm gonna do is now go back over to my creator studio back over to that branding now that I got it saved I'm gonna click add watermark so then what I'm gonna do is click choose file here click the watermark that I like the best just double click on that and then we'll drop it right in there. Go ahead and hit save. And then go ahead and once you hit save twice, your watermark will show up. Now it gives you a couple different options here. You can do custom start or you can do end of video or entire video. I like entire video this way. Somebody has the option throughout the entire video to click on it. Go ahead and hit update. Now let's go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna pull up one of my videos here. And there's our subscribe button. All right, hopefully you found that tutorial very useful. Make sure you list any comments down below, along with any questions if you need any further details on what I did to create the watermark. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please share it with a friend. If you're new to our channel, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that bell notification down below so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Until then, once again, my name is Brian, and I'm with Three Princess Productions, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!